This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with Abilities R 2.0, that's right, with Cosmic Eclipse. This is the uh, actually the first place winning list of the internationals in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And Robin Schultz did it once again, an incredible player, I played against him as well a couple of times already. And he's just uh, such a friendly player, uh, so nice to see him winning another huge tournament here. Abilities R, what can I say about Abilities R and uh, the Cologne regionals, like a couple of months ago, it was huge, it was everywhere. and then it. Uh, completely died out a little bit but now with cosmic eclipse this is actually kind of a nice play here with of course the double blaze we can go through any effect so things like caldeo if you have like the six energies attached we can go through caldeo uh the uh yeah pure heart ability we also have of course a raw damage output of 230 with the flare strike and outreach is also a sweet attack there's only one copy of the rest art in here the other things are pretty self-explanatory ever since Thor Radcliffe did very well at the world championships becoming fourth with this insane kind of list they build upon the strength Strategy. We still have nine tails here with of course the nine temptations to be targeting down the uh, opponent's Pokemon Why is this so fantastic? Well, everybody's now relying on great catcher and this nine tails can win you against like the stall archetypes Think about uh, Florgus uh, with the Poke Dolls, which we talked about on the channel before. You can just target down the efficient Pokemon so you can take prize cards. So that's why it's so good. With the 18 energies in total, you'll have an awesome time with 9 Temptations. Not only that, Victini can come out of nowhere to one hit KO a couple of tag teams. Noteworthy Arceus, Dalga, Palkia, but also things like Mewtwo Mew because they are now dropping down their Wobbuffets in their list. And that's why this list came out of nowhere and surprised everyone by still being so consistent with 4 Jirachi, 4 communication and of course the main card of the deck for welder uh, how do we find welder with stellar wish that is an option but also thanks to the power of the Dene with the dd change that is a very fantastic ability very uh, easy searchable thanks to cherish ball and uh, all the gx cards we have is heatran very great uh yeah two uh, prize pokemon with of course burning row we can absorb all the fire energies if we switch there's four switches in, in here there's also like a palpat in here to get of course our welders back and uh, the bad thing is that, of course, Chaotic Swell is going to be around, so uh, sometimes we are uh, not able to uh, rely on Giant Heart. Well, then we just rely on Fiery Flint instead, so that's why there's one copy of that in here. Another attacker here is going to be the Mega Lupani, and Jigglypuff helps you out against a lot of decks that rely so much on those GXs. So we've seen it before, uh, yeah, popping around in a lot of uh, matches at the, uh, the Internationals, and uh, we do see that Jumping Balloon is uh, definitely very strong. One Prizer Turtonator also smacks around Caldeos all day long. And then there's Zip Strika in here. There's the one Zip Strika in here together with this Ditto. So sometimes this Ditto can transform or actually evolve into Zip Strika. And then we have the Sprint ability, uh, which is gonna help us out against Pidgeotto Control. Very, very, uh, very consistent list, and we're gonna try it out on the Versa Ladder. This is Robin Schultz Abilities Are 2.0. So uh, we still have a lot of uh, new decks to uh, discover here on the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do so. So you're up to date with the entire meta here, because uh, this is the Road to the World Championships, and. Uh, I will try and give you uh, my uh, explanatory reasoning about certain decks and why they're good and why they're not. Okay, we're facing off against ADP, also a very, very popular deck as seen uh, from the internationals. I think there's uh, the most decks that have been played uh, that we're going to day two was Arceus Dalga Pelka. We start off with uh, a Vitini. We do have a skateboard, so it's very fine as it is. We can use uh, the uh, Cherish Ball, find a Dedane. We can even use a Cherish Ball for uh, whatever we want. Uh, I don't want to be uh, destroying our Welder here, so I think I'm gonna go for finding a Heatran or whatever. Yeah, since we go first, okay, this is actually fantastic. So uh, we are gonna go, do we, are we gonna be able to find a Switch card from the Cherish Ball? Who knows? Uh, definitely gonna be finding a switch card. This is a slower archetype, so we might as well use the welder here and then go for the uh, Let's see how many welders are in the deck. We're definitely gonna grab this Dedene Okay, we can use Heatran to go crazy uh, Even use the Terminator. Okay, there is a welder prize. So uh, using this strategy will be very strange Also, I'm gonna check how many switch cards we have We can go for this guy or go for Heatran Maybe Heatran, it's a two prizer. They automatically get an extra prize card if they uh, are going with their attacks. 
Although, uh, using double blades is also a very nice option. Oh, I don't know what to pick, actually. Mm, do we go with the Reshizard? We do need lots of energy, so I think the better option is to go with the Heatran. And also, let me check here how many switch cards. Four switch cards and a skateboard as well. So I'm gonna give that a skateboard. Um, yeah, let's smack this down. We're definitely gonna be drawing a switch card, right? I'm gonna give the escape board to the necessary Pokemon here, and we're also gonna go for a welder for one. That's fine as it is. Uh, yeah, we have the manual attachment of the turn. We can use the communication. I'm gonna get uh, rid of that Jirachi here because we have another Ninetales in here, and he cannot target them anyhow unless he's playing custom catchers. You can go for Ditto or go for the Turtonator. Turtonator welder attached can only dish out 250 unfortunately so getting that 300 is definitely gonna be key at some point oh well oh well what do we get uh, maybe the Vulpix targeting down the Dennis is also kind of fun I guess so let's smack this down and go for the Dene it's so bad that we had to like use a welder for one could have also gotten rid of it but with only two welders in there we could have whiffed as well. We have communications for another Dedenne, so I'm not gonna smack these guards down, and I'm just gonna go where the pass. We definitely need to find that other welder here, or a switch guard, to say the least. Okay, that is gonna be our first turn. Maybe we should have uh, equipped the escape board on the Victini so we could have retreated, but I'd rather be using a switch to the Jirachi instead of like using a skateboard on Victini. Okay, what can we do? We have to get rid of lots of energy so we can start swinging with Victini. This is a kind of list that uh, typically wants to use the uh, altered creation on the first turn. The good news is that they start with it, so uh, yeah, using Ends Resolve will be a little bit more difficult. Also, we started first, so that's already a great way to go about this uh, particular matchup because we can get the first strike. Uh, if we can use like communication for the Denny, communication for Ninetales, we can target uh, whatever we want. So we'll see what that brings us. Caldeo is uh, popping up. Uh, we want to destroy Caldeo with either Victini or Heatran. Uh, the Reshizard is also an option, but I don't think that's the right plan here because we are going to give up four prize cards. Uh, we are weak against Caldeo, and with the addition of the extra 30 damage with Altered Creation, we will be in a huge amount of trouble here. The bad news is that we had to Welder for like uh, one on the, the first turn. So Cynthia and Catelyn getting him three cards is also... Uh, not having a supporter from the discard pile since this is his first supporter. Kalex well is very, very disruptive because uh, we didn't place down Giant Heart in this scenario. Okay, Tackle, get some... Presumably, yeah, Mallow and Lana to switch around. Oh, that full art is very, very uh, beautiful. Okay, that is it. So we are having uh, a great time here. We're gonna go for communication. We're gonna get that Ditto back safely in the deck. And we are gonna grab ourselves, grab the third nader. Uh, yeah, Turtonator could be nice, but we definitely need some extra draw with the Dene, so I'm gonna go for the Ninetales. There we go, Ninetales. Uh, yeah, what else? Communication, definitely gonna be targeting on that Arceus that have a Palkia soon, so let's get this on board. Get our Dene up and rolling. Do we Dene tree energy so Victini is gonna a little bit more strong, or do we manually attach already? I think manually attaching... Is not gonna help us anywhere, so. Hmm. Three energies. Nah, we're never gonna get that the Danny in time, so we might as well give the manual attachment over here. He could use the Great Catcher, but he's definitely gonna go for the Arceus Dialga Palkia attack, so we still have some more time on our hands. Here we go. The escape board, which is fine, I guess. So, what to do first? We are. Uh, we can target down the Caldeo, so he's in a more awkward situation. That is a nice plan. So first things first, Cherish Ball might thin out the deck. Let's smack down another Dedenne here. Dedenne to the hand. If he knocks something out, it's good. We can then... Could we go for the two shot here? Like 130. He has the Mallow and Lana, so that's irrelevant. So at this point, I'm just rather uh, fine using a Jirachi here. Don't want to be using anything at this point. We do need to find a Welder at some point, but let's see what we find with the Stellar Wish. Okay, we have the Welder, so uh, we're not going to be discarding those energies. Although, leaving in the and stuck in the active would be fun. We're just going to leave it like this, and uh, next turn we destroy this Arceus de Agapalca. Okay, we could actually use it right now. Ah, just fine like this. So, two energies going on to... Yeah, we're just going to spread around the uh, energies a little bit. 
There we go. We do have the switch guard, so we can smack 250 with the GX move. Or we can already smack 130. Hmm, what to do? We can even go for targeting down the, the Keldeo right here. Ah. He's definitely gonna be using La Malo and Lana. But if he uses that, he cannot use Cynthia and Catelyn or an End Resolve. Ah, doesn't matter. Just gonna wait, uh, wait it out. We do have a switch in hand. I wonder what he's gonna do here. Still, if it's uh, Arceus de Agapalke on the bench, he could still use uh, uh, the uh, end resolve maybe and start going aggressively. So I think our uh, option is fine. There's two energies on Victini. He could go after Victini, but uh, if we draw another Welder from the Dedene, we're definitely gonna have an awesome time. So Cynthia and Catelyn. Um, also, we should be fine here. He's gonna use the GX move. And we don't have any tag teams in play whatsoever, so he, he only needs to knock out two uh, GXs. And uh, seeing as Heatran does have a huge amount of HP, the bad thing is that Keldeo just smacks a huge amount of damage. We need to find a way to destroy that, and we're gonna have a finding a way thanks to the uh, Victini here. Could also be using uh, the Turtonator, yeah. Okay, Sinyan Catelyn, that's gonna be his second Arceus de Agapalkia. If he smacks that down, we should be good to go here. Okay, Altered Creation GX. Bam. Okay, all of his Pokemon dish out more damage. First things first, we are gonna use the Stellar Wish. Ta -ta -ta. We have another Welder, fantastic, just what we needed. Finding Welders is always a great thing. No, the only thing we need is a communication at some point. First things first, also gonna get rid of that Chaotic Swell, which is causing us a lot of trouble. We're gonna go for Mm, manual attach, we could welder here as well. Interesting. Do we save the welder or are we gonna go crazy? Hmm, what to do? We could find Palpat as well. He could also reset stamp us. He's definitely gonna reset stamp us, so maybe saving the welder is a, a better plan. First things first, also an energy over here. So we could smack 300. Also, this Caldo doesn't seem to have any energies. Very funky. Okay, let's go with the Heatran. Swallow up two energies here. One, two. So we have uh, six energies in total. And uh, now we could even Welder onto Victini here. Do we do that? I guess so. If we lose our Heatran, I, can't, I, I guess it's fine. He still needs to have lots of ways to go about our Victini. There we go. Yeah. We still have Jirachi if he uh, resets them. So... so here comes the crazy GX move, Hot Burn GX, and our Victini is looking very menacing. As soon as our Heatran goes down, we destroy the Skeleton. It's fine as it is. And we take three, three prize cards right now. All fire energies. Ooh. Palpat, that's fine. I needed the Palpat. He's gonna stamp us, but we'll see how we go about this. If we retreat, there's three energies more in the discard pile. Okay, Cynthia and Catelyn. We still have a little bit of time on our hands since the Skeleton cannot attack either way. He is taking extra prize cards, but it's a little bit on the slow side, so I, I see why Ability Zard actually came out on top uh, from that tournament. Okay, one energy and that's it. So, what to do? We can uh, take get, get rid of uh, energies thanks to the Ninetales. That means four energies in there, uh, retreat with three, and that's gonna be... Okay, two energies gone, five energies, and that's seven in total. Okay, I'm gonna palp at. There we go. We are gonna use the Nine Temptation for nothing. There we go. Da -da -da. We could also smack down Giant Heart while we're at it. Manually retreat. So there's more energies in the discard pile. We still have a switch left, so we'll see how that goes. Stellar Wish. Oh, this is interesting. Fiery Flint. Will we get there? Let's see here. Seven energies. We get rid of one more, it's eight. Nope, barely made it though. Barely made it. Fiery Flint. Okay, let's... The only thing we need to do at this point is destroy this Keldeo. Hmm. What to do about this? We always have the Nine Temptations, so we might as well like... He's gonna use the Mellow and Lana, I don't like that strategy. Uh, will he be able... Nah, he, there's nothing he can do at this point, so might as well... Yeah, pass the turn, we'll see. See if he benches something. Could go crazy with Fiery Flint. 
getting some more energies in here. We have seven of them in total. A Chaotic Swell still popping up. So uh, getting that Heat Factory was not the brightest idea from the Stellar Wish. Seven energies with one extra one is eight. It's 160 damage. You only need to put one more in. If he, yeah, he goes for another Caldeo. Yeah, now he's uh, on the run here. Cherish Ball. Okay, what is he gonna do? We have the, the absolute power here with Fiery Flynn. We can uh, use the Gust Effect of Ninetales, target whatever we please, and he's on the run. He has to. Yeah, he's gonna save uh, one Caldeo. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna go after it immediately. Okay, that's fine. So, we have the Giant Heart, which wants to get rid of this Chaotic Swell. What can save us? Actually, this Ditto and this Striker is irrelevant at this point, so let's get rid of those. And let's get four Fire Energies. There we go. Next up, we are just gonna give one energy over here. There are literally seven energies in there, so we definitely need to go for the Nine Temptations. There we go, getting rid of two more. And uh, thanks to the Palpa, we have more uh, welders available. Stellar Wish, that says even communication for the Turtonator if need be. So things are going perfectly for this ability Zard list. Such a strategic way to go about Arceus Agatharka. They're just slower than us. That's all there is to it. Okay, the only thing we need to do right now is uh, either get more fire engines in the discard pile and start smacking with Fatini. Or we could go... Okay with a welder on a turtonator i think that is our best bet his best bet is now to reset stamp us to one or just to scoop that's also an option conceding okay arcus dagapalka destroyed by abilities art okay what's next abilities are 2.0 seems very very strong it's very very consistent and uh it is self-explanatory you just use welder as much as you can and you have lots of uh, versatile attackers they uh, opted to go for the 18 fire energy build which I understand because you can one-shot tag teams with Victini in the late game. That is what wins you games. Against like uh, Arcus Dalga Palka, yeah, at least have like their first turn. If they have lucky uh, with ends resolve, they can use the uh, GX move. Then they KO something, KO another thing. And since we're using the Dene, they have like three shots. So we also need uh, Welders every turn. Okay, Fire, Carlos, Lightning. Hmm, I wonder. This is going to be... Megalopony, Reshazard, Volcanion, uh, I don't know what the Lightning Pokemon is, we'll see. Maybe it's abil Abilities Art as well, without Jirachi? That would be interesting to see. Okay, we start with a Turtonator, and uh, that Turtonator is gonna be able to smack up 150 damage immediately. So at least if there's something with a low amount of HP, we are definitely gonna get the better of him. Oh, although we could also Welder, oh boy, Baby Blounce. Against Baby Blounds, I'm fine starting with Turtonator, actually. Turtonator can take a prize card. We can use communication. The bad thing is that if we rely on the Denny too much, he can take two prizes with a great catcher. Okay, the Denny is already in the hand. Okay, this first Baby Blounds is going down thanks to Explosive Jet, which is uh, something I like very much. We can use communication for probably Ditto. If I had to guess, Ditto can evolve into either Zipstrika or the Ninetales. Okay, then I'll actually get out the Jirachi. Hmm, I wonder. I think Jirachi in this instance is better. We need to get a KO after KO every single turn. And with this Turtonator, I think it's possible. One energy to the Blounds, and that's that. Fine. So, we already have a Vulpix. We can communicate this Zip Strike our way. And what do we want? I think uh, if our Turtonator uh, sees the discard pile, I think I'm fine just going with the Jirachi here. How many switches? Three switches, two escape boards. That's fine odds. Fine odds as it is. Here comes the Welder. Ta -ta. Welder on the third. Actually, starting with Turtonator is actually fine as it is now, right now. We're not gonna go with the Giant Heart. We're actually gonna wait. Yeah, we're gonna wait with this uh, Giant Heart. We can Welder onto Turtonator once again. Not gonna help him out. Not gonna smack down the Denny so he can go after it. I think it's fine going with an Explosive Jet. Ta -ta -ta. Get out of here. Baby Blance. I do have a soft spot in my heart for Baby Blance since at the special event in Paris it treated me so well. I did play the Greens engine except for like the only thing that I hated are like reset stamp to like two or three is like ooh stamp or pray. Actually stamp and pray. <laughs> okay. 
Here comes Pidgeotto. See if we can loot these welders without uh, smacking down the Denny. Mm-hmm. One Pidgeotto, one Ditto. No Blount. So if we play it cleverly, we should be able to win this match as well. Gonna go for the one prizers. Oh yeah, Ninetales can also one head KO a Pidgeotto, which is fine. And Victini is also kind of a, a nice way after we uh, go, went crazy with explosive jet of Turtonator. So against this one Sprizer, don't get out your Reshizard, it's not gonna work out. Maybe in the late game if they uh, went through all of their fire crystals and stuff, maybe then you can get out Reshizard, but for now... Okay, item luck. He's gonna go for disconnect? Really? No! Okay, disconnect means we are item locked, but uh, we don't mind at all since uh, we do have everything in the hand. Yeah, I don't mind this item lock at all. I think I'm gonna go after this Pidgeotto now that I think about it. Although it has 60 HP, unfortunately. Okay, first things first, since we are item locked, let's get rid of this Cherish Ball while we're at it. I'm gonna get two Fire Energies, also gonna check here. Yeah, Nine Tills, another one, Precious R2, yeah, there's another Dedenny in there. Okay, here comes the Welder. Onto this Turtonator. Ta ta ta! And we got lots of stuff. We even have a switch to go follow up with that. Bad news is. So we do this. We can knock this Luxio out, but getting rid of his hand is actually the better plan of action. We have to go aggro in the scenario. And uh, we have to smack down our Dedenne. <laughs> you have a good deck. Yeah. You have a good deck. I like Baby Blast. No energy, so going aggressively uh, went very terrible for us. Yeah, no fire energies. What is this? Okay, explosive jet again. Uh, only two energies this time. 100 damage is enough to get rid of this Luxio. I wanted to catch that uh, Pidgeotto, but it didn't work out, unfortunately. So we get this. Another prize card. Another Dedenne. Okay. What he has to do is get a baby blounds up, use great catcher, but that tins his hand out completely. And only having one Pidgeotto seems like a, yeah, a bad thing for him. He got a Ditto out. This item lock did stop us though from placing down this skateboard. He also has access to Giant Heart now, so if I had to play it more defensively, but everybody would have done the same thing. If you knocked out this Pidgeotto, his draw power was gone and you know, Airmail. It's funny how Airmail only like popped up very late. Okay, stamp to four. I, I can take that. Let's see here. Welder. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Palpat. Oof. Scary. That's not. <laughs> we can still use uh, the Denny though. So we can Palpat our Welders back in. We can Cherish Ball. <laughs> we are not item locked anymore. So that's good. Okay. And with Giant Heart, we can get our Fire Energy. So I think it's fine. And if he pla places down a Baby Blast, it's gonna. Oh! What is this? Okay, we, we top deck Wilder, OP. <laughs> okay, that was very funny. There we go. And that's gonna be game. So, uh, abilities are still as strong as ever. I uh, just not how the way I love it. So, uh, I have to revisit this deck at League Cups and stuff. So, this looks very great. Here we have him. Turtonator, smack him for the KO. We're just gonna go overboard. And uh, while we're at it, we're gonna say, well played. And let's go. Turtonator, explosive jet. Bam! Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video of us checking out the first place winning list of the Sao Paulo Internationals, Robin Schultz, Abilities Art. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button as always, subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video where we're probably going to be checking out the uh, new Guzzlord and Naganadal Tag Team GX. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day and see you all next time. Peace out.